Hi everyone, welcome back to the one for all. In this video we are going to work a little bit more with map because uh, right now we are just using strings and let's see some, let's say more real examples. Let's create another domain class and I will call this domain class customer. So customer will have two attributes. First, uh, let's create long ID. And the second attribute will be name. Oops, for a moment, so many times creating main methods. String name. Okay, now I will create a constructor. Now, the constructor, uh, I don't want the ID, but by the time I have this object uh, created, I would like an ID. But I want a random ID. So you can create a random ID ID through thread local random dot. This current dot next long is going to get a very very big uh, long number. I'm gonna show you inside test. Create another class. You can call map test zero two. PSVM and let's create a customer. Now this customer is from package collection. Be careful. This is the package we are working right now. Customer one new customer. Uh, let's give some nice name and I will print customer one. But actually we need to string here at customer out insert to string and both ID and name. Now, Control Shift F10. I just wanted to show you the big long number that's going to be generated, and it's a negative. Now, we have an option here where we can say the bound and the origin. So, for example, I want from zero to maybe a hundred thousand. Shift F10. Now it will keep in between these uh, boundaries. Okay, now that we fixed the ID, let's also, since we are going to work with collections, create equals and hash code. So for me, ID is the only thing that matters. As long as two IDs are exactly the same, it means that we are talking about the same customer. Equals and hash code. And uh, one getter. Or, well, we can have both getters and with this we have what we call immutable object so it means at the moment after we create this object it's impossible to change it why because everything is private and we also don't have any setters ideally all the fields should also be final to make sure that uh, it's impossible to change because there are some concepts for example one called reflection where even private attributes can be changed but uh, this is beyond the scope of this class so customer one and let's say customer two will be uh, dev dojo academy okay now i have two customers and we need some products uh, at binary search test we have manga you can copy this and you can add it here and if you are using a uh, mouse, just hold the wheel and have this selection. Just basically drag and drop. And the same thing here. Uh, okay, I forgot. There you go. Let's create some variables. We have manga1. And I will do control C. Same thing, holding the mouse wheel. Ctrl V equals, and then we can change here one by one. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now we have customers, we have mangas, and I want you to create a map where the key is a customer and the value is a map. Uh, sorry, the value is a manga, and that value represents the manga that was bought, for example, for that customer. So basically, we first need map. Now the key is the customer because the customer is going to buy a manga. So basically customer from package and be careful the package should be the same as the one that you are using here. And 
the value, press out enter to import the map, and the value will be manga. Customer manga map, and I don't care about the order of my map, so I will just use hash map. Cool, now let's add basically customer manga map dot put and let's say the customer one that's William bought uh, housing and housing is manga two and control D the customer two that's David Dojo bought uh, Dragon Ball Z manga five now how can we display this data back let's kind of a report you know that we have to create a for since we are going to use key and value is a good idea to have the entry set map dot entry the type exactly what we used to create here then any name you want i'll just give entry and you call customer manga map dot entry set cool so now you can add south entry dot get key and you can give a small separator here plus entry dot get value control shift f10 so you can see we have both customers and the manga bot is not ideal because we are just calling the two string let's say i just want the name so entry dot get key is going to return an object that is a customer so we have inside the customer the get name and entry dot get value is going to return a object that is a manga so we have also the get file control shift f10 and now we have a way better uh, report cool so let's just stop for now in the next video we're going to complicate this a little bit more because imagine the scenario where a customer wants to buy more than one manga how can we do that so let's see in the next video bye